Hello. Yes, Gus, we did find a solution for the subtitles. We got it up and running. It is good to go. I'm excited because we tested it just to make sure. And um, yeah, it's big and it's got like a shadow behind. It's fabulous. Thank you so much for sharing that. It was easy to set up and it worked. We die. <laughs> Well, that's a typo. <laughs> Noise, yeah. We tested it, made sure it was good to go, and it is. So I'm glad because, yeah, the subtitles that are just in the game have no settings. And they're like this, this big. The ever charismatic. Hello, Nevi. How are you? Ever charismatic. You, you compliment me. You are so kind. Thank you. <laughs> How would you do, everybody? Happy Wednesday. We're Wukonging more today. We're definitely getting past chapter two. I mean, I can't count. Chapter one. I'm working through chapter two. A little bit of tea today as well. I mean tea like the drink, not like, oh my god, did you hear? Not that. If I did, that would be cool, but I don't have enough. I don't have drama. Not that cool. Hi. Ugh, careful, bro. There's hot tea. Hot. Yeah, can be careful. Oh, he's already Kate is coming to say hi. I almost called you a different name. Hi. Did you like that kiss? Maybe. Maybe not. Anyway, chat. Yeah, I'm super excited about the subtitles because they're like, they're big now and that fills me with joy. Also, I did move the camera from this corner to this corner because when you collect things, it goes into this corner and um, it goes into this corner and I didn't want to risk like covering up something important or chat covering something important. Do they cover the screen? They're like, they went from like this, okay, to like this. And they're like, yeah, they, they cover the screen like as big. It's big. <laughs> Not big enough. I want one letter on the screen at a time. Have you guys seen the video of the girl with the glasses saying, this is for all you guys who try to talk to my girl. Scram. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. That doesn't sound familiar. Not big enough. No, you will see. You will see. They are big enough. They are big enough. Ooh. Fabulous. Yeah, I'm really excited. I'm curious about... Ooh, I like this song. It's kind of a, a jammer. I love it. All right, chat. I don't have my glasses on. Well, put them on then. Neither do I, but I can still see. Because I have contacts in. <laughs> Put your glasses on, then. You'll be able to see them with that. I mean, I don't know how blind you are. I feel like I would be able to read them. If I didn't have glasses on. So, but I'm also... What am I? I'm nearsighted. But if I fall asleep, then I might break my glasses. Well, then don't fall asleep. <laughs> All right, valid. That would be. Oh, Elden Ring. Oh, Elden Ring, true. Hello, Arachi. You see that cat leap? You see that leap? Okay, but monkey redeem? 
I don't even know what we would do. Just like a <laughs> monkey redeem. <laughs> I may I am the monkey. <laughs> I'm being ooh, ooh, ee, ha, ooh. like from Tarzan. Got to make monkey noises, you know, get the energy. Literally just Master Uge saying, mmm, monkey. <laughs> Hmm. Keep me company so don't fall asleep. Kuth, keep acting company. Do it now. I, 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 I demand it. <laughs> Look at the, listen to this cat right now. For some reason, Loki has decided he doesn't want to jump on. So, okay, I have a story. The bottom of this cat tree got ruined by water. I don't want to talk about it. It makes me mad because it's not our fault. But so I put on this coffee table and now Loki doesn't want to jump here onto the coffee table before jumping up. He just wants to jump straight up to the top of the tree. And I think it's making him irritated because he's spending less time on the top of the tree because he doesn't want to jump up all the way. Tell me your cat is intelligent without telling me your cat is intelligent. Let's see. I have a wonderful reason for not being able to redeem first. I was in the middle of beating Yorm with the Handmaid's Dagger and New Game Plus 7. Handmaid's Dagger? Yikers. Wait, I wanna, how bad, is that a bad weapon? That sounds pretty horrible. <laughs> Checked out a story today with some guy who got transferred to a prison that was run by demons. Oh, intriguing. That's just what the inside of my brain is like. Want to play UFC 5? I don't have a PS5. <laughs> it's a terrible weapon. Why are you doing this to yourself, Arochi? Plus 10 has an AR of 243. Yuck. That's not good. That's actually really bad. Are you like level a gazillion though? Are you level a gazillion? My fist had an AR of 220. Why is that such a bad weapon? Wait, I want to look at this. Handmaiden dagger. Maybe. Maybe. Let's see. Dagger used by handmaids of the profane capital. Each successful attack replenishes a slight amount of FP. Well, at least you have that going for you, Orochi. Did you actually win, though? Did you win or did you die? How long did it take? You have seen if I instant send it to me? Oh, yep, you won. Jesus Christ. So, how long did it take you? Like 20 minutes? Four attempts? Someone's too good at this game. It is also the shortest dagger. An hour? <laughs> that sounds terrible. Blind spot. Use against shielded foes to break through their guard by attacking from the side. Wait, for real? They have backhand blade shit? I was caught lacking near half health. <laughs> you were caught lacking. Like, yeah, I can't keep doing this anymore. Jesus. Are you trying to do the whole game with this Garbo weapon? Or are you just doing like, here's a Garbo weapon. <clears throat> it was actually good against Dragon Slayer Armor Shield. Maybe. Oh, God. You're crazy. <laughs> That's insanity. 
What level are you, though? I'm curious what level you are. Okay, let me pop a squat on this game. Five forty eight. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. How how many what is the max level in Dark Souls 3? Excuse me, Kate. So that dagger is at an AR with 99. <laughs> is it with 99 strength and dex. That's cringe. I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> A new game plus seven with 99. Yikes. There are some weapons that aren't even leveled up that have an AR higher than that, huh? That's insanity. Let me take a sip of my tea. It is very useful if you have a low FP max. Okay, that's true. If you're like, oh no, I am out of FP. And you can just like, oops, wrong one, this one. What? The game? There we go. It's taking time. Uh, oh, turn on. Continue. That was loud. At FP, slap a fellow a few times to get just enough for a heal spell. Uh, Arachi, when I did my sorcery run in Elden Ring, I actually ran out of FP on Godric, the grafted, and so I beat him to death with a plus zero dagger. It was horrible. Wish I had a dagger like that. <laughs> Out of FP, just cry about it. I didn't have a Starlight Shard or anything. Actually, funny enough, I actually used one Starlight Shard that whole run and completely forgot about it. Ran out of FP at Elden Beast. <laughs> and then switched my, oh, it's embarrassing. So this one. There's any FP regen weapons in Elden Ring? Well, there's the Talisman and the Starlight Shard. I don't... Off of the top of my head, I cannot think of any... Um, yeah, off the top of my head, I can't immediately think of any... Um, <laughs> Demir? What does that mean? It means Demon Lemur, Kenny. No, it's what all the kids are saying. It's just like saying you're cute or some shit. I like to think it means demon lemur though. Cause it's funnier. Ah, gotcha. Okay, so I asked Kenny. There is a boss I miss. So there's a secret boss that I can't get to until. What's going on? Did someone just knock at our door? <laughs> so Kenny said there's another boss that I'm missing. I learn all the slang from my 17 year old cousin, yeah. I. The kids just pulled out this thesaurus and was like, I like that word and started using it. Okay. Where is this other boss? Let's see here. So we have Yao Guai Kings. So we have this, we can't get to that question mark one. Thank you, Shaw. 
Hey, you have to ring all the bells. Oh. Uh, hi, Camille. I already did. I'm looking for a different boss. One of these. Because we have the kings, and the king is like the last character, but there's like one more hiding. But welcome in. Uh, plot twist, Shass is my 17-year-old. What? No way. I'm way older than that. I'm ancient. I think it might be in here somewhere. Don't let them get you. Do what I do best, which is run. Missing one you come back for later, yeah. Well, there's two of them, though. I'm missing two bosses right now, but... I just want to double check and make sure I'm not missing another one. I don't think so. I'll probably fight it later. Also, hi, pomegranate. Look for a swamp. I, I looked for a swamp. Last one is at the end of the chat. Uh, I'm just going to keep going forward because I'm annoyed already. <laughs> No, I already looked, Kenny. I didn't see it. There's one- there's FP on kill weapons, but not FP on hit. Ah. Oh, here comes Acton. Synonyms for demur. Coquettish. Go in the hut. How fuck are you talking about? This one? This hut? Something is breathing in my ear. Jump right. This one? Oh! You can continue. What do you mean? Oh, jump down. Okay, I think I got on it, babe. Thanks. Ooh. Spark. Hold on, I wanted to read these synonyms. Coquettish. Coy. Kittenish. Kittenish? Flirtatious, girlish, prudish, flirty, priggish. Priggish. Oh, is it over here? This area is different. Ow, bitch! Ow, I forgot how to play. Monkey time! Hello, Mirth! Welcome in. Yeah, it's monkey time. How are you doing? Uh... Oh yeah, here it is. That looks like a boss over- Ow, bitch! That looks like a boss. <gasps> Ugh! Ah! What the? I'm getting my butt kicked by a frog! He kicked me! Who is this guy? He's cool! Ah, uh, yeah, perfect. I missed. Because <laughs> he was in the air. No, watch this. This is important. Let me do it. Ow. No, wait. Let me do it. <laughs> Look at it. It's so cute. And now he's dead. There he was. That's who I was looking for. Beautiful. <gasps> Hi, Aries. The goddamn frog. <laughs> the frog. Bali Gulang. Bali Gulang? Oh, sick. Yeah, I definitely missed that. Cool. Aries, you love his cute little pants? Yeah, he was cute. I gotta read his lore. And then we'll move forward. Uh, doing good. Just sitting down with a bowl of stir fry? Oh, shit. That sounds delish. Welcome in. Yeah, yeah, all right. How are you?
Ah, I see. Please don't attack me. There was one guy one time. Okay, let's go back. <sighs> this has been the longest week ever. Don't know how it's only Wednesday. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> this has felt like a very long week so far. Because today I was like, oh, it's finally, it's finally Wednesday. Okay, let's continue forward. Secret. Outside the cave. Perfection. Open up your desk and you feel more relaxed now? Let's go, yeah. Clean space is good for your health. Sorry, you have to die now. Ow! Uh, hey, now. Hey, now. Hey, now. There was another direction I wanted to look at, but I got attacked. Absorb. Oh, it wasn't much. <laughs> I see. Ooh, this game is so beautiful. Hello. All right. Did he just shoot his companion to death? Uh -huh. See, look at. Ow! 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 What, is he trying to remind me of the cicada spell that no one ever uses? Is that what he's trying to remind me of? I'm not even sure how to use it. Don't worry, I don't need to. I'm a professional. Let me go kill this guy. Also, you see the- you see? The subtitles were massive. Yay! Oh, it's Baldak! Oops, I can jump. Ow. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on, wait, there's too many actually. Hold up. Oh! <laughs> Hold up, let me, let me back up. See if he'll follow me down here. What the? Who's this little nerd? Hold on. Very nice. Oh, the song. Or number two spell, or the one you get from the last boss. Oh, professional monkey. Yeah, that sunset. Yeah, it's so pretty. Absorb. Wolf assassin. Oh, I came down here and bro tried to kill me. That's what happened. Very cool. We'll look at it in a bit. Make sure I got all of the things. Oh, the music! Yeah, look at that. Like, through the trees. It's so pretty. The subtitles were too small still. I was looking- I wasn't looking at stream. Hey! Can't see subtitles equals uh, too small. Hey. <laughs> I guess I'll just fight him in that hut. That's the biggest they have. Oh. <laughs> Why am I doing this? Hold on. 
I can't be I'm not high enough. How do I how do I get up to you? Can I get up to you? I don't know if I can. <laughs> shot his own compatriot. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> I think it's so funny that they like are shooting each other on accident. No, just let me. I could block, but I'm. There we go. Oh, hold on. People are. Hold on. Let me open this. Hi, chef. Are we there yet? Why are you min maxing the exact same way I'm thinking in my mind? I insist you validate my assumptions by doing exactly what I say this instant. Am I sack beating properly yet? Yes, you're actually doing a perfect job. <laughs> Thank you. That's perfect sack beating. Exactly what I'm looking for. Celestial nonary pill. Massively increase max stamina. Ow, bitch! Ow, bitch! Whoa, hey now. That's not very manure. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> oh, some of my... You are doing God's work. <laughs> Manure, bro. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> oh, be silent, bro. I'm distracted. If I die, it's because I'm crying. <laughs> I think Kenny forgot the word. There we go. They sound so similar, I had to say it. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> okay, let's see here. So let's self advance while we're here. And look at the other spirit. Okay. Ah, let's see. After successful heal, the first one of the light finisher deals extra damage. Yeah, this is the one I really wanted. Odd people call me shit all the time. <laughs> Did you end up killing baby Monday night? I did, Aries. I did. I did it, and now I can bash people in the head with... Here, I'll show you. Where is it? Oh, wait. Hold up. So, I can transform into him for a second and smash people with my head. Craft. Let's see. Craft armor? Ooh. Just cooled out for mobilized spell. Deals additional damage to the enemy. Oh, give me that. Put it on. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I got an armor set for this? Oh, shit. I got a whole armor set. Massively reduces stamina cost when in water. Oh, that's so cool. I didn't notice I got these. Oh. Water really increases sprint speed. <gasps> Whoa. I'm not gonna wait until Wukong 2 to craft stuff. I won't do it. I'll just put it on right now. Ah, oh, I like it. 
I like the mask, yeah. Oh, sheesh, got the drip. Yeah, I got the drip. I wonder how it will be if Megalos still existed. <laughs> well, maybe the Megalon the little Dawn does exist. Yeah, now I'm powerful when I'm sprinting. Oh! It's on fire! Why is it always fire? Oh, I didn't rest. <laughs> oh, Black Bear Guai! It's this guy! It's a Guai! Look at this Guai. Oh, Yankers. I didn't rest, so it might be over already. Ooh, yikes, I was slow. Okay, that was... Ooh, okay. He has a body slam down. Ow! Ooh, okay. Getting all of his... He's growling at me. Ah! Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Oops. Well, that wasn't too horrible considering it was the first try and I did not have all of my heels. I can't help but read the subtitles now. Yeah, I guess you have no choice. <laughs> Cast aggressively aggressive belly rubs. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of cute. I would. Uh, bears are so deceptively uh, like adorable. Like they're so cute, but they would eat your face off. I wonder if he's a cool guy to hang out with. <laughs> Sumo wrestler bear. It's a black kung fu panda. Black bear. Pa black black bear pant. Wait, kung fu black bear. It's hard to bear his joke at times. Yes, please keep the bear puns coming. I need them. I need them. It's important. Okay, got to dodge earlier. Then I think there we go. Perfect. Yikes, okay. Oh, he slammed me. Ah, oh, yikes, okay. So he can body slam you twice in a row. Noted, I need to be a little bit more careful. Chad is barely holding it together. He's striking you with his bare hands. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love it. Oh, 
啊！Oh, yikes. Okay. It goes really far. I'm getting injured. I'm on fire. Got another follow up. Yikes, that's a huge ouch. Oh, interesting. That was a different attack. Hmm. his bare ass. <laughs> I'm on fire still. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay. Noted. made the subtitle mod is brilliant what an angel dev should pay them yeah for sure <laughs> they need to add just like make the subtitles bigger yeah this this mod is amazing just gave us the the mod showed it to us here we go Okay. I think that might be a grab attack, actually. Ah! Oh! Yikes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Holy. Yikes. 
nice. So epic. Oh, I'm dead. That was a good second try. That was a good second try. That, um... That phase transition is... weird. Let me see here. Ah, Acting your dog made you go downstairs. <laughs> he needed water. <laughs> That's so cute. Also got ice cream. Oh, shit. What kind of ice cream? Tell me now. It's chilly here at night. It's... <laughs> you can eat. You know, you can eat ice cream any time of year. Maybe you'll regret it later. Bean. Ah, I'm dead. I'm dead because I'm on fire. about all the shit I can do. song. Ow! Focusing Dodger. So this fight is epic. Ow! I'm dead. <laughs> I am dead. This fight is kind of fun. Oh, Kit Kat ice cream bar from Costco. Oh, that sounds delicious. Ice cream sounds good right now. Yeah. Turtle nuts? 
Yeah, turtle nuts. I buy the turtles ice cream tub like once a month. So good. Oh my God. I love ice cream. I have a problem with it. No. Yeah, I know. The end of that fight. Still got a couple of things. That I mess up, but we got this. This isn't too bad. It's fun. I, I like it. The particle effect. Chocolate ice cream with peanut butter folded into it drops my oh shit. <sighs> Ooh. His underwear ripped when he transformed into a bear. Was was he not wearing in the first place? Uh, that's a good question, actually. Oh, yikes. Yikes. Yikes! Yikes. camera uh, I love this second phase song dun, 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 dun. You're doing well. Ugh. Let me just heal for safety. Ow! Ow! I am gonna heal for safety. Ah! Changed again. Was feeling so good too. Oh, no, I'm dead. <laughs> He got me. <laughs> Things are good. How are you? I'm great. I'm so great. It's so good to see you. Game looks so cool. It's so fun so far, Jojo. I don't know if you have plans to play it or if you are playing it, but it's great. You know the song that Girls on Fire should have been playing in the background? That bear is on fire. True. Jeff, you're so right. You're so right. Definitely want to nab after Elden. Maybe do it. And what? Where are you at in Elden Ring right now? By the way. What the? Oh, okay. That's a move I haven't seen him yet.
Kate. <laughs> Hello. How big this bear is, massive. like pushing my mic into my face <laughs> he's gone now <laughs> ow uh, i have a grab whoa huh. hold on let me beat this guy first Are you also trying to run? Oh no. a star yeah crush is so monkey he's cheating message <gasps> oh, the plot gets thicker. Mm -hmm, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Ignore him. Cinema. Bird. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, thank you for the applause, Jojo. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. Hey, yo. <laughs> yeah, you like my anime applause? Oh, dude, these are so cool. These little in chapter stories. You do, hell yeah. <laughs> it's a bear. It's the bear we fought. Ooh, why is 
all the music in this game so good? Hey, this elder Jinchi? That's what I think, yeah. I guess we'll see. Oh, here comes Monkey. Okay. Oh, nice what an awesome first chapter. Dark but good storytelling, yeah. Hongjungang Xiao <laughs> That was so good. Black cloud, red fire. Uh, Monkey, hi, Servando. Your favorite chapter is next. I'm excited. I'm excited. This chapter was so good. Like, the storytelling is so good and interesting. I love it. Level 21. Flame ebon gold. When fortune forsakes you, your dull your gold dulls to iron. Yet when embraced by luck, even your iron shapes to gold. This material can be used for crafting weapons. Thanks, chapter. I 
cutie. So hope you're doing well. Good job with chapter one. Thank you, Sir Fondo. Thank you. I appreciate it. Holy shit, I thought chapters in Baldur's Gate 3 were long. Yeah, some of the... That was chapter one, yeah. Well, and chef, the, some of the chapters, they're even longer, like over time. Hold on, I'm going to put my tea on my warming plate. I got to reach. That was really cool. Chapter one is the shortest. Yeah, I think chapter one is the shortest. This game is quite large. Well, let's see. So you can look around at these, right? Zoom. Yeah. Howhardosan 是西方如来佛祖所下的第二个徒弟因听经不专清满佛法被如来变成真正的徒弟夜被火烧使他取经之路的第十一难后面还有七十难呢 Oh, interesting. I see. There's even more lore. Sarah's the monkey, monkey. Look how beautiful this is, holy shit. Chad, this is a story about greed. Don't be greedy. Be greedy, chat. I want posters of these. Oh my god, that would be so cool. They're so pretty. Alright. And then I want to read the lore of the bosses we fought. We fought the frog. And the bear, obviously, which we, yeah, I want to know the lore. It's important. Okay. He's loafing in the corner. Chapter two. I'm really excited. This game is a freaking banger so far. I really like it. Oh. This is a banger. Yeah. What? How is he singing without a head? I don't know. <laughs> you only need a heart to sing. Oh, thanks. <laughs> sing with your stomach, they say. Yeah, you gotta breathe with your tummy.
Next boss defeating three tries. I just want to dance. Ah, this song's such a banger. His vocal cords are still intact. Yeah. Hiya! Well, let me gather this. Let me go. You gotta sing, sing through from your belly. <gasps> Servando's 20%. Man, we're very calm today. Hey, now. Yeah, that's right. Get wrecked. Ares is nine. Oh, yeah, no way. Chat, we gotta stop. We gotta read lore. You have to listen to me yap in lore. This is important. Um... Yagwai cheese. A bali gulung. That's what chef is 22. See what the heck is like the only person who's feral today. Like Kenny. Yeah, it's calm gang today. I was 45. Kenny was 80 something. But that's about it. We're all pretty chill. All right, let's read this. This was the frog boss we fought earlier. Wrinkles on his skin so snug, a whiff of air, a fishy hug. Uh, Sorry, I gotta fix my chair. Legs that spring to heights above from the dirt and muck they love. In the lands west of Blackwind Mountain, within a kingdom named Tommy, stood a small town. Every day before dawn, a humble market would gather just outside the town gate. It was a place where peddlers exchanged goods while waiting for the gate to open. But due to the prices, even the townsfolk began to participate, thus... The market gradually gained its reputation. <laughs> yeah, Kenny is feral. A few months ago, an odd oil peddler arrived at the market, garbed in robes of pearly turquoise color and with eyes that gleamed like copper bells. He had a voice that rang out with a boom, and his breath was foul and pungent. Yet, he happened to be a keen talker and naturally was disliked by everyone. The oil he produces, on the other hand, was sought after by everyone who would not prefer the oil clear and smooth, and not to mention its price. One could exchange but a pinch of fragrant powder for a large gourd of such oil. One day, the wandering Taoist, a wandering Taoist, passed through the town and decided to visit the market. He enjoyed his experience until he sensed an eerie green mist emanating from that old peddler, a guai, no doubt. The monk chanted, and before the peddler could manage a decent struggle, it revealed its true form, a green-skinned giant frog. The bystanders were startled, and grabbed whatever they could to could use to attack the frog. The frog kicked the ground with both legs, lipped higher than a tree, and swiftly fled toward the mountains. In pursuit, the folks arrived at the marshes where they witnessed countless small frogs scraping mucus from each other's bodies, collecting it in a large barrel. They then applied fragrant powder to themselves, hugging and sniffing each other in sheer delight. Silently, the people approached and peered into the barrel, <laughs> the mucus inside gleamed with clarity, just like the oil they had favored. At the sight, they were occupied by bouts of nausea and began to vomit. <laughs> None had the strength to pursue and kill Gwais. All the frogs noticed this and hastily fled, leaving the marshes filled with a rather unique scene. <laughs> That's hilarious. I like that story. <laughs> so this frog went to a market and was they were selling frog mucus and then, like... Bathing themselves in like the little powder. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, frog noted. Yeah, that frog better learn. That's so funny. I love that. Okay, the black bear guai. This is, I want to learn. Guanyin's grove, his greed won't cease. Southern tides bring no release. Schemes cloud his sight. On Bodai Peak, he learnt life's worth is peace. In the purple bamboo grove where Guanyin resided, life was usually tranquil. The black bear Guai spent his days eating bamboo shoots with Aster and drinking homemade bamboo leaf brew. His days had become so unremarkable they almost faded into nothingness. One day, the Lung princess paid him a visit with Red Boy, her servant. Flustered, the black bear hastily gathered his dishes, trying to hide the mess. 
The lone princess rolled her eyes and said, Have you thought about the task Guanyin mentioned to you a few days ago? The black bear Guai didn't answer. He simply retrieved a box out of the chest and handed it to the lone princess. Red boy snatched it and opened it. Inside was a transparent, honey fried sugar sculpture of an immortal riding a lion, known as a lion immortal candy. Mmm, yum. Yesterday, there was a Dharma assembly. At the top of the feast, there was this exquisite and eye-catching sugar sculpture. I specially saved it for you as a token of my respect. You presume to understand my taste? Keep this for the children. Hearing this, Red Boy lost interest and stuffed the box back into Black Bear Gwai's arms. Only then did the Lung Princess let out a contemptuous laugh. Cognizant of his blunder, Black Bear Gwai mumbled, I'm willing to serve. My abilities are mediocre. I'm afraid I can't handle such an important matter. The Lung Princess replied, do you think we don't know that? Don't worry. There will be those fiercer and more ruthless than you leading the charge. No work, no reward. Oops. If it's a thorny matter, I might not be able to handle it. Wan Yin will attend to all, nor thorny matters shall prevail. Don't try to fool me. Wan Yin instructed me to practice quietly here. Why should she intervene? The Lung Princess wore a long face and said, How can you be so timid? This is a great opportunity. More people are vying for it than you could even imagine. Wan Yin chose you only because she wanted someone she could trust. Can't you see that? Black Bear Gwai was speechless for a long time. <laughs> the Lung Princess had run out of patience. So little ambition. Forget it. Forget it. I'll let Guan Yin know. Dear Princess, Honorable Princess, that's not what I meant. I'll go. Only when she saw the eager look in Black Bear Gwai's eyes did the princess roll her eyes again, leaving Red Boy behind, she drifted away. Seeing her leave, the Red Boy hastily asked Black Bear Gwai, what exactly is this task? I want to leave. Why don't you tell Guan Yin and take me with you? It's a matter of great importance, but as you just heard, Guan Yin didn't want you to go. Don't pester me anymore. I don't want to lose this opportunity for your stay. A few days later. Ooh. Black Bear Guai finished his preparations, wielding a black tasseled spear he was about to set off. Red Boy, who had been waiting outside the bamboo grove for days, hurriedly caught up with him and once again insisted on accompanying him. Contrary to his usual manner, Black Bear Gwai tried to persuade him. Red Boy, Wan Yin has instructed that you must stay here. Even your father has been pressed into service this time. Surely you can see how perilous it is. This is no laughing matter. He touched the encaging band around his head and sighed. <sighs> to risk one's life just to remove a headband? It's not worth it. With that, he transformed his body into a black wind and swiftly vanished, paying no heed to the Red Boy's desperate shouts. Afterward, Red Boy waited for him outside the bamboo grove for a long time, but he never saw him return. Later, when Red Boy recalled, he realized that it was the last time he ever saw Black Bear Gwai in Guanyin's palace, in Guanyin's place. Ah, rest in peace, Gua, 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 Black Bear Gwai. <laughs> rest in peace. That was, a lot, that was a longer story. Hold on, I need a sip. Cool. That was, that was neat. Oh, Blackwind Mountain. Pretty. Cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know. I don't know how, but I do know what the secret boss of this area is, so hopefully I can figure it out. Without too much trouble. Because I actually have seen some things. Hi, you want to fight? Nerd. Wanya is like the administrator of a juvenile facility dealing with all the unruly brats. True. Sweet. I want to look at armor. Armor. Oh, 
what's this one? In cloud step, shrouding black wind will attack enemies nearby. The decimal one in the decoy continues. Oh, cute. Oh, that's fashion. Cloud step outfit. Wow. Craft weapon. Considerably increases the critical hit chance of the unveiling strike of cloud step. Mm. I want to try this. Oh, I like that. Okay. There's so much stuff. I love it. I really like this one. Oh, I can be a frog. Though soft, a tongue can still inflict great damage. Hmm. <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> That is a thing that they said. Look at my outfit! I'm so cute. Oh! Sandgate Village. Okay. Cool. Uh oh. Danger. <laughs> Servando. <laughs> hey now. I mean, I guess they wouldn't just, like, open the door for me. Ow! Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> gotta go around. We gotta go like the long way. I love this game so much. I, yeah, yeah. I love it. Oh, what's down here? Like, there's just so much stuff. I want to try the crit um, one a little bit, staff a bit. Oh, let me put it on, though. I didn't put it on. I do want to try it. Um, did I get a new one of these? Uh, moderately increases defense. I think I'm okay with the, the ones I have. Hey, are you nice? Oh! <gasps> Hi. 
排的正好。哎，我有一单方被水里的小蛙吞了，你莫忙走，帮帮小神。哎呀，亏不了你。Your deity. Okay, yeah, I can kill a frog for you. Why not? I did it in the. Oh, it's frog boss. Boss, lagging, lagi gu. Whoa! Oh, we're in water. Ah, hold on. Let me heal. Oh, I can't immobilize. I'm out. Sorry, I'm blind. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Ow. You know what? I've had it. Scary. Is this attempt one? It is. I just got here. Yikes. Oh! Dang, okay. Electricity and water, great combo, yeah. <laughs> that was a great combo. Um, I have that outfit. Or did I make that outfit? I don't think I crafted it. I was gonna say, there was an outfit. I... Did I, I don't think I can wear it, though. No. I didn't craft it. Don't worry about it. Um. Let's see. Oh, I'm trying to think. The effect is massive when fighting in water. Yeah, I did get a water one. Well, rest in peace that crit moment. I'm just gonna use the water thing. Ah, ow! Ow! Hey now. Hey now. <laughs> Bitch, I want to let me finish my combo. What the? <laughs> what? Hold on. Hold on, I'm doing a bad job. Oh, yeah. Owie, 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 owie! Ow! Ow, I'm gonna die. I'm getting my ass kicked. Ah. 
That was a terrible second try. <laughs> Uh, that was not great. I was try. I was te I was testing things. Okay. Also, did I um? Did I get another spell. No. Okay. I. I. <laughs> Believer's points are never safe with cat. Hey now, that's not, oops. That is not true, okay? There was a day where believers won twice in a row. A day. Let me heal. Believers. <laughs> Do you, you see the way he bounced when he died? <laughs> Let's go! He's dead. Yeah, pretty much. I won. Why? No one should be surprised. Let's lucky go! Uh, congratulations, Aries! Take your points, believer. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Take your stuff. <laughs> GT. <laughs> He's so cute. I'm glad my encouragement helped you focus. <laughs> well, listen, I was like, I was being a little dumb. I was some, testing some stuff and like, yeah, being a dingus. It's meditation time. And then we'll read the story. Did you enjoy the intro? I did! I Chapter 1 was awesome. I just finished it and it's so good. This game is really, really, really fun. I love it. How are you doing? <sighs> Look at wow, it's so pretty. Ouch. Seventy-eight. 
You are one of the most feral people here today, Surge. Dang, let's go. Huh. So now I can craft an item at the shrine. Uh, oh, stop everything. We must read the character. It's a chief. Longley Goomba. With swollen belly, strange gills arise. A frog's croaks can summon thunder's cries. No long, no loom needed to call the breeze. In shallow waters, frog songs please. Hmm. Here we must speak once more of that wandering Taoist. He passed through the kingdom of Hami, and ever since his encounter with the frog Wai, he made it his mission to hunt such guys. Far and wide, he saw other tra their traces. On a day he came onto a valley where croaks echoed, cackling with eerie flashes. Joy rose in his heart, but he hastened to the river and he hastened to the river bank. There he set up a makeshift altar to, to subdue the Yagwai in the river. Incense and candles were lit for the offerings. Then, with his cap removed and hair unloosed, the Taoist traced the three seals of power with vermeil cinnabar and drew the banishing <laughs> cards. Well, Surge. You kind of scared me. <laughs> I didn't jump very high, but <laughs> thanks for your biddies. <laughs> Hi, Jananan. How are you? Welcome back. How's it doing? How's it doing? How's it doing? Yeah. It's been a minute. Yeah, true. It has been a minute. It scared me. <laughs> but it was like the most calm scare ever. I sound less jumpy than I think. Uh, incense and candles were lit for the offerings. Then, with his cap removed and hair unloose, the Taoist traced the three seals of power. He mumbled and muttered, this buzzing you. Okay. Then, his roar shook the air. Thus be Lord Lao's decree. Uh, with a flash of sword, he snatched up a seal and flung it skyward. A plume of flame flared and vanished. The frog Y in the valley, startled by his com this commotion, sprang from the water. A great yellow frog clad in hues between green and blue, different from the last. The Taoist, seeing the Yaogwai spring forth, swiftly lifted a second seal. It flared up in a trice, and a raging wind followed. As a third seal caught light, peeling thunder cracked from the lowering clouds. Both the Taoist and the Yaogwai were startled, hands flying to their heads. As silence fell, they looked up to see trees blasted and split, where the storm above broke and scattered. Look, look at Cade for a second. Oh, he stopped. He was being feral. <laughs> he was being a he was being a long boy. Uh, then his roar shook the air. Thus be a Lord Lao's decree. With a flash of his sword, he snatched up a seal and flung it skyward. A plume of flame flared and vanished. The frog Wai in the valley, startled by this commotion, sprang from the water. A great yellow frog, clad in hues between green and blue, different from the last. The Taoist, seeing the Yagwai spring forth, swiftly lifted a second seal. It flared up in a thrice. Okay. Let's see. I already read this. Sorry. The storm above broke and scattered. The Taoist froze and scrambled to ready his brush for three more seals. The frog Wai, unhurried, drummed its belly. The sky stood unchanged, but with each stroke, a dozen shafts of gold light lanced down, each striking close around the Taoist. Tumbling and rolling, the Taoist could scarcely evade the beams of light. And the frog wag gaped its maw and spat out a swarm of electrifying tadpoles. Oh, cute. No matter how the Taoist dodged, they pursued him relentlessly until he fled un in utter rout. Alas, in matters of renown, it has come to judge power by the intricacy and grandeur of one's methods. There might be some wisdom in that. <laughs> so he was spitting little tadpoles at me. That's so cute. Wow, that's cute. I like that. I wanted to listen to the cool song again. The cool song again. I want to listen to the headless man sing me songs. Hey! 
shields will only save you for so long, nerd. I'm the frog. Why? <laughs> do do do. Wait. <laughs> I'm frog. Why? Do 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 do. Hell out. Die. Kick his ass. Ah! Oh, he's talking shit. Ow, bitch! Hey, now. Hey, now. Punching me, you have a sword, bro. Bro, he has two heads. I got distracted by the fact that he has two heads and not one, and so I died. Ugh. I also had no healing. If I had a Billy Eilish emote, I would have used that too. Oh, what's up? Oh, I'm a frog. Why? Aha, uh -huh, I see. <laughs> I see. H hilarious. <laughs> Hey now. Hey, yeah, yeah. What the heck? Little rat. That's what it is. Uh oh, that guy's so. That guy's still alive. Oh, yikes, let me heal. I'm on fire. Hey now. What the? What was that? Hey now. Hey now. Hey now. This enemy is kind of scary. It doesn't help that there's the pew pews in the background pew pewing me to death. Need to kill this guy. All right. I, I don't know if that I, is the right path. I, I don't. What? 
Hey, he hit me off my snake. Scary. I, I, I ran out of stamina. Don't do that. Don't run out of stamina. It, uh, I, that's what I was afraid of. He's gonna blow. Open this door. Ah, oh, fuck, it's a boss. <laughs> oh my god, he's so mad. I am monkey, I am here. Hello. <laughs> I remember Kutherton finding this boss. Ow. Ow. Oh, sand. Oh, I'm... What? <laughs> Some of my armor is not loading in. No. <laughs> I died to a headbutt. Rendering, yeah, it's hella rendering. It went into that scene and there was sand and fur and my... <laughs> it, the game was like, uh... <laughs> I had to take a pause here. Well, I'm not sure. Is it still a medium? It is. Yeah, and I'm getting coding overload, so I might turn it down here. Um, hold on, let me turn it down. 
game is pretty he heavy. And beauty. Wait. No! Graphics. I'll just turn it to low. It's safer this way. Oh! It crashed. Says that it the driver has crashed. Well, uh. Uh, he hello. Oh, you know what might be the problem? Nvidia update. No, I'm not on game capture. Why did it take it off of game capture? <sighs> it crashed. Too much sand. What happened to mother hair? I mean, it's still red. Is that what you're wondering? It's faded a little bit, though. How are you doing? Um, let me just try turning it on again. She got the fall hair on, yeah. It's red now. Got that fall hair. Try to turn the settings down. Game crash. It is the law. Oops, wrong one. Yeah, I don't know why it does this. A game capture. Oh, weird. Huh? Pumpkin spice hair, yeah. <laughs> Pumpkin spice hair. Ah, oh, sand. Some cutie patootie type hair, so. I appreciate that. We like, thank you. Thank you, son. I appreciate. I appreciate. We are. The game is got mad at me. It crashed. GPU upgrade is needed next for cat. Yeah, clearly. Let me see if it actually works. Custom. I'm a little nervous. Hold on. Let me, let me, if it crashes again, I don't want to cry. Okay, we're good. <laughs> it would be embarrassing. Oops, sorry. I keep going to the wrong one. It's rendering. I got you, though, when my new GPU comes in. Yeah, Kenny's getting a new computer. And he's going to give me his GPU. Yeah, is that was that is that what's ha gonna happen? <laughs> Kenny will give me his better GPU. I let me try again. Oh yeah, Kenny got a new computer. What the? Hey! Hey! I 
god. <laughs> he hit him with the rock. Hold on, I'm distracted by that. that he's like hitting his Ow. <laughs> Let me share. Oh yeah, Kenny Kenny's got his specs right there. Yeah, that's right, little rat. That's great. Diablo 4 on that computer. Yeah, Kenny, when are you gonna play Diablo 4? What's this? Required sternness of stone, keenness of tiger. This looks like it might be the secret. Yep. From this henchman. Okay. So this is where the secret boss is, but I got to get some tallies. Get the I will do it, Sultan, I will. Yeah, my Ryzen is an annoying first thing they would have resolved it to Jin later. Oh. Fucking thing I only kind of understand. Do I have a... Oh, I have three. Oh, what is she doing? Hello. <laughs> I want to try it. <laughs> Let me put this on.
And then let me rest before I forget. Because you know your girl will forget and then immediately perish. And then read the lore. I miss one. You passed out after you quickly saw Jargon. <laughs> A computer stuff goes pretty much over my head immediately, so I, I... Kenny knows it way better than I do. He's a smarty party. Royal family of flowing sands, a foolish son, a clever father. One plans ahead, the other rather, on the battlefield, no room for kin. Cunning father flees, leaving his son within. Question, can you kill the dad instead of the son? Is that a choice you can make, or do you just kind of kill the son? I have to wonder. The kingdom of flowing sand had three princes of the royal line. The eldest prince, favored by the king, was a renowned warrior for his valor in the battles against the Fuban. The Fuban? He was granted the title of Valiant General, but later a shadow darkened his mind, clouding his reason and erasing his memories of his kin. Thus, he was hidden away. Oh. The king was heartbroken. Luckily, two of his sons yet remained. Two choices. Okay. Oh. I killed the son first. The third prince, the youngest and the king's most trusted, was well-versed in poetry and deeply fond of Buddhist teachings. He possessed both wisdom and strength. However, when the king issued the rodent reverence edict, edict and ex executed those ministers who opposed it, the third prince left in protest. Wrath consumed the king, but one of his sons still remained. The second prince, though a man of great strength, was simple of mind. He was neither as skilled a warrior as his elder brother, nor as clever as his younger sibling. Of the three sons, he was the least favored by the king. Nevertheless, he remained by the king's side the longest. When the yellow king, wind king retrieved a mighty vessel in return, the king of flowing sands rallied to his banner with what remained of his people, hoping to reclaim his lost kingdom. The yellow wind king, short on men, saw the fierce spirit in the second prince and welcomed him and his followers into his ranks. The yellowing king had a tiger vanguard, whose hunger for a rat flesh required a fresh feast each day. When the yellow wind king retreated into his med meditating seclusion, the tiger grew even bolder. Only the savage might of the second prince's hammer could give him pause from time to time. Much did the second prince sacrifice for his father, the king. Yet through all the perils and hardships they endured, the king of flowing sands never failed to bring the eldest prince with him and continuously sent minions to seek out the youngest. Hmm. What thoughts dwelled in the heart of the second son? None could say. Yeah. Middle child syndrome. Yeah. <laughs> Poor middle child, bro. Okay, I actually want to backtrack a little bit. The exploding rats, you know. I love the music. <laughs> ah! Okay. I, you know what? Maybe I should. Well, I just wanted to look around, but all you guys are scary. Now I have the whole town attacking me. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I know. Well, let me... Oh, hold on. <laughs> Ow. 
nerd can't. Ah, thank you for the follow. Wait, he, he, he's up here now. Ow, ow, I'm in a terrible position now. He's dead. Nope. He's dead now. Oh. Ah! Ah! Hold on, why now I want to beat him? Hold on, now I want to beat him. Oh! <laughs> Wait, I fucked up. <laughs> Embarrassing. <laughs> Oops. I messed up. It's fine. It happens. Oops. <laughs> Aww. I I tried to do one thing and then was like, oh wait, no, I want to do this instead. And so I, yeah. My brain went two directions at the same time, classic. Hold on. Sometimes when I load in after I die, okay. There's like a little, little bug there. Um. Let me go back. Let me try to do this without being a coward. That's a big thing to ask for, but I'm gonna try. Hey, you rat. Come here. Okay, <laughs> I forgot about that enemy <laughs> with the lightning. Those are dangerous. Don't look at me. Don't look. Those are some banging rolls, though. Got a few good little rolls. Okay, hold up. Let me kill this guy first. <laughs> so how do you know when... When you get a crit off? Is there a sound? Or can I only see if I turn on, like, damage numbers? Minus all my stamina, by the way. You, you can only see it. Oh. From a damage number, okay. Maybe I'll turn damage numbers on then, because I- ah, 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 ah. Come here, bro. Are you dumb? <sighs> he got lost. Bro. Gotta love, gotta love it. Let me do it. I'm on fire, by the way. I'm... 
Don't be so vulgar. <laughs> My ego is being hurt. It's because of those pew pew guys. My ego. Let me look. Gameplay. There we go. I want to see this. Let's see if I can't get up, figure out how to get up on these roofs. I gotta kill these guys, they're annoying. I can't throw poo at them, I am a monkey. <laughs> Why not? Yeah! Oh, you guys are the ones doing that. Nice move, thanks. Oh, I'm on fire too. Shit, this isn't good. Uh, I'm... Yikes. There's a chest here. Let me open it. Yeah, you like that move, Ares? I smack people with my with the head of a golem. again. <laughs> it's your favorite? Yeah, isn't it great? I love it. And also, it does like it does like really good damage. Like it's kind of crazy how good of damage it does. Like it's it's wild. A nice shrine nerd. I think the rat dudes are perma dead when they explode, though, so. No, oh, yeah, that guy poked me. I had no more healing, and, and yeah, it was bound to happen. Dab, dab. Yeah, I did it. They're, those rat guys are. They're chonky, like. They do not, yep, they're permitted when they die. Great, that's great. Ah! You know what? Let's go kill these ones first. And then we'll go the other way. Ow! 
Ow! And don't no explosions. That's crazy. So those guys would like blow smoke, and then the other guys would like blow throw like a bomb, and that's why I did like a mega explosion. Crazy. Every time. Let me finish my combo. Rats, bro. It's freaking rats. Give me this. Yeah, give me that. I need it for my gourd. Okay, and then we're gonna run over here. Apparently that guy cannot see me now. Nice. What the heck is that thing? Awesome. Can I help you? Earthwolf? Who needs help? Ow! Ow! Oh, I missed it. Ugh. Okay. Crispy. Die. Did he die? Cause did 
he die because he touched the water? I thought he had a little bit more health left, but maybe I'm tripping. Okay, bro, stop yapping. Well, I will come and get you. Earth wolf. Cool. Oh, it's the horse guy. Takes the win, yeah. <laughs> I'm taking it. Hi, dude! It's you again! Yeah. Uh. I mean, you are a very buff horseman, so yeah. Yeah, take the win, yeah. I uh, didn't even think that would happen. He just kind of rolled over and died. Yeah, weird. Yeah, <laughs> You sure you need me to untie you? You want me to... Okay. The horse guy is cool. I like him. Oh, fuck, dude. Oh, wait, the, 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 oh, oh, it's the front gate. I'm so dead. I just opened the front gate. Right. Oops. <laughs> Licorice seeds. Very nice. Epic. Why are you blue? Oh. He was, so some of these guys will be blue, and I if I kill them, I get something for my gourd? Hmm, intriguing. So I, a rat archer spirit. Oh! I see. Cute. Hmm. You see how many of them I killed? <laughs> oh, beans. The horse guy. I'm curious what his entire story is. I, th I mean, I think I could read it, huh? We gotta read the... The earth wolf's... Story. I'm dead. I gotta read the wolf story. There's a blood on this. That's right, buddy. I don't tolerate your silliness. Make sure I clear it out. Mm. 
Holy shit, it is clear. <laughs> What's over here? Make sure nothing is missed. So right now, the story that I see is that there is the rats. So there's the yellow wind sage. And then the rats and the tigers were in his army, but they're not getting along because they're obvious. Because duh. Because duh. But the wind sage can't keep them under control either. Something close by? Never mind. Oh. Okay, hold on. There was something else. Hold on. I feel like this is a path forward. You run too fast. I'm speed. What the fuck? No, why? A little gremlin? So when it's yellow, that's a crit. What the fuck did he do to me? Oh, it was the ground that he was walking on. What is happening to me? Am I poisoned? Shit, I'm poisoned. Which one is the poison one? And time yeah, is my power powder. There we go. Uh did I get anything from that? I got one. We'll use it. Make a crit. Uh, I forget that I have to... I have to rest on purpose when I'm at these incense stands. Like, I can't just, like... Okay, over here. Whoa, hey now. Ow. Oh, did you activate the relic? Ow, bitch. I'm not moving. <laughs> hey, you little rat. <laughs> no sons to protect you now. <laughs> He has one more. Well, I mean, I guess they're not all dead. He has two, three sons. First Prince of Flo. Oh, there's the first one. The one that was angry at him. And then another one just like left, right? <laughs> 
醉的时候啦。Fuck you, Dad. <laughs> Hello. Hi. I see. Intriguing. Okay, hold on a second. What's that? Hold on. Awaken the wine worm on material. Okay. You listen good. Oh, so the rat was mad. The rat is mad. <gasps> what is this? Yuck. Dude, that design is really cool. I like that a lot. Does this just kind of keep going? It does. Hold on a second. I want to kick this guy's ass. Or at least, like, I don't know, make an attempt to or something. Let's try. Hey, bro. You just ate your dad. Kick his butt. Holy... I can't see shit. Oh, okay. When he falls, it is an attack. Oh, it does make a sound. It makes a little ding noise. It goes dong. Like a little bell sound. was a little oh, I don't have any more healing Yeah, his tail.
whole nest of rats scatters and falls. First try. Rest in peace, rat boy. I did it. Sink! Let's go! That wasn't too bad. Can I give you a hint before you move on? Um, yeah. Hell yeah, GG. Thanks. Yeah, go ahead. Dude, that was cool. That was a cute fight. I liked that. I liked that, like, when he, like, attacked, like, swiped at me, and then in the process of swiping, his falling was an attack. That was cute. Where the boss was? Go back to the wall where the boss was. This boss? This wall. This one? This bot wall used the head. The head? What head? Close by. The head? The baby's ability. Oh! Ha! <laughs> yeah! Ha -ya! Oh. What an intriguing little secret. Honestly, what? <laughs> what an intriguing little secret. Uh, who figured that out? Uh, uh, that seems like... Very random. Long skills. Oh, this is the dragon thing, huh? Is this something to do? You can go back and clear chapter one now. Okay, sick. So technically you would have only seen it if the boss tackled into it. Oh, so if the boss had tackled into it, then I wouldn't have had to headbutt it. That makes sense. Um, Let me look at my inventory. So I got a scale and now I can go back to chapter one. This is a dragon thing. These ancient lung scales occasionally flicker with lightning. They seem to be calling out for their former owner. Oh. Okay. Look at those. Those are so cute. Okay, also journal. This is important, chat. I want to read the wolves. Earth wolf. This is important. <gasps> On moonless nights with winds that cry, the time for death's inventions nigh. The king, kind Yao Guai's place your trust, but wicked souls defy must. There was once a general's son who served as a drill master in the barracks. Cruel and ruthless he was, and the soldiers trembled at his command. Yet out of respect for the general, they bore their resentment in silence. The drill master who had a passion for hunting kept a Chinese zigao. Zigao? A slender hound. One day, he went hunting with several instruct instructors, but returned empty-handed, much to his shame. He blamed the innocent hound for their failure and had it beaten to death. <gasps> I hate that. The soldiers who had been ordered to kill the hound were much troubled in spirit. They buried the hound in a field behind the barracks, where many lingzi mushrooms grew and gathered at night to chant sutras for the repose of its soul. Oh... One night, the drill master heard a dog barking outside the barracks. He sent men to seek out the source of the noise. But the barking ceased each time they approached, only to resume once they had returned to sleep. After a few times, the drill master lost his temper and went to investigate himself. As he stood in the yard, he felt the sound came from beneath the ground and ordered his men to dig it up. As the soil was cleared away, the hound leapt from the earth, appearing as it had in life, but now adorned with thin tentacles, like the roots of some peculiar plant. 
The drill master, thrilled by this rare find, called to the hound. It recognized its master and bounded joyfully towards him. However, two hard antler-like mushrooms had grown on its head. As the hound leapt in the drill master's arms, these mushrooms pierced his chest and he died then and there. The soldiers rushed to call the healers, shouting in panic and confusion. Amid the turmoil, no one thought to catch the hound. Later, no matter how they searched, they never found a trace of it. What a wild story. Holy shit. <laughs> wow. Cool. First Prince of Flowing Sands. Though hairless, strength prevails. Sturdy and bold, never frail. Madness hides in the mountain where winds sing. In dark gutters reigns as king. The yellow furred rat had quelled the calamity caused by Fuban, earning the king's deep respect and being appointed as royal sage. No matter the state affairs of or the minute of la daily life, min minute of daily life, the king would first seek his counsel. At the sage's suggestion, the king issued the rodent reverence edict, prompting rodent Gaius, wise Gaius. Oh, the ring brain rot there. Rodent reverence edict prompting rodent wise from all around to migrate into the city. The first prince, having distinguished himself in battle, was conferred the title of brave general and was basking in his success. However, he was deeply displeased with a, that a Gwai sage had stolen his shine. Using the pretext of the rodent Gwai causing trouble, he rallied court officials to petition for the royal sage's removal. Several upheavals ensued in the court resulting in the death of many loyal to the prince and even the third prince left in anger, yet the king's trust in the sage remained unshaken. On the sage's birthday, the entire kingdom worshipped his statue and even the king paid a visit to the temple of royal sage himself to offer incense and prayers. Unable to contain his fury, the first prince overturned the incense table in public. Oh no. Such an affront to royal authority could not be tolerated. Enraged, the king imprisoned the prince. The sage, however, was not angered and even spoke many good words for the brave general. Learning of the sage's inter intercession, the prince became even more convinced that he was a deeply scheming evil guai, cursing him incessantly in his cell. The king, upon hearing this, grew more antagonized by his unruly son. Hence, he decreed that the prince needed strict discipline, ordering that his meals be delivered to the cell door thrice daily with no visitors allowed. Initially, the prince was very stubborn. But over time, he softened and began to plead for mercy. He remained defiant in his heart, constantly plotting to kill the rodents and avenge himself once he was free. One day, his meal was late and he was growing anxious. Then he heard the sound of a key turning and the cell door unexpectedly opened. After waiting for a while and seeing no one enter, he walked out himself. To his astonishment, the guards and officials bustling outside were no longer human. They all became brats dressed in robes. The prince thought that it was the sage that led the rodent wise to usurp the throne, and in his panic, he charged into his father's golden hall. A short, stout rat, speaking in his father's voice, called out to them, This must be an imposter. The prince grabbed a guard's sword and struck at the king. Chaos echoed in the hall. Only the royal sage brought forth a bronze mirror for the prince to see himself. In the reflection, there was no trace of the brave general. General, or only an enormously fat rat. Oh, shit. What a good- th this story is good too. This is crazy. Okay, shoot. Let's go back to the chapter one. Because this- this little- this little scale is calling to me. Or calling to its owner, I should say. Uh, Kenny, can you tell me which place to go to? Or if I return to chapter one, will it just kind of be like, eh? by the waterfall the waterfall hanglet what what waterfall <laughs> the waterfall Like what? What near the river? But the, 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 there's rivers uh, everywhere. What? What boss is it closest to? Is 
The very edge of the map on the left side, opposite from the baby. Okay. I think maybe I know, because there's a few... Babe, there's a few, um, waterfalls in here, I think. <laughs> the very edge of the map on the left side. Okay, but I have the waterfall hang left. Okay, I will take a- I will go and look. You get some dialogue when you are close. Okay. Sick. Sounds good. Okay. Oh, is it that waterfall over there? Examine. Exactly. <gasps> Ooh, good luck, have fun. I'm excited. I'm excited. Ooh, this should be fun. Okay. Well, I kind of have to... Use the bathroom. I drank all my tea. Ooh, oh. <gasps> Whoa. How beautiful. I see. Okay. That tail, that's so neat. Oh, okay, yikes. Whoa! Uh, yikes. I'm dead. Kicked my booty cheeks. Okay, chat. I'm gonna get up and go piss girl. So I'm gonna put, put you on the BRB screen real quick. And then we'll come back and we'll fight him. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, I'll be right back.
Oh no! My BRB screen is broken. Why? Have to look at that. You guys were just listening to dead silence. No clips at all. It's broken. Yeah, look at him. Look at him. Look at Loki. I wanted you guys to look at him. I put my headphones back in. Isn't he so cute? Look at him. Look at me. I don't know what I didn't know it's broken. <laughs> Dude, baby, yeah, look at him. He's just staring. Oh, don't fall though. I like that you guys can see him now. He 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 is a needy little beach. Huh, you are. I love him so much. Oh, holy, is bro needy, huh? Are you needy? Are you needy? Oh. Yeah, he knows it. He knows it. But time for me. Good progress today. Good night. New camera? New camera? Yeah, are you asking me if my camera is new? You gave it to me. Oops, wrong one. Fuck. I need to just delete that button. LOL, I already know. Yeah. <laughs> you can see Loki because the field of view is so much wider. Look at how beautiful this is. I'm like, wow. I'm amazed. The red loom. Luong? Hmm, okay. Just finish did, didn't you just what hold on oh I didn't know I wanted to see didn't you just fight this guy at the end of bloodborne yeah Oh. Mm. Oh. I looked it up, it's just his cousin twice removed. <laughs> It's the Moon Presence cousin? Twice removed? Damn, that's crazy. Never would have thought, honestly. Dude, I am a little worried I might not have the damage push mark. No, I, I am good. I dodge, but maybe a huh?
Oh, that's visually beautiful. I love that. Mm, that's a double dodge. Hmm, okay. This late. Hmm, okay. know if this makes like more damage here <gasps> I got it hmm. ah okay Got it, got it, got it, got it. I see. I see. I got it. I understand. I was wondering that at the beginning, but then I kind of was just like, no, nah, I'm just going to ignore it. <laughs> okay. Can we just talk about this arena for a second? I want this as like a backdrop on my. I took a screenshot. Okay. What a stunning game. What a cool design. What? Boss, I yeah yeah, I love it. In the song, oh, this is awesome. Hmm. Okay. Just heal for safety. Damn it, he's in an awkward spot. He's in a horrible spot. He was in a horrible spot. That was unfortunate. That positioning was unlucky. Yeah, I felt unlucky. Right. 
Uh oh, I'm dead. I'm alive. Oh, yikes. I'm like one HP in a dream. That was, yeah. One HP in a dream? One HP and then a dream. No, ah, dang it. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was unfortunate. I got a little bit unlucky. Thanks, Gus. I got a little bit unlucky with that positioning, so that kind of that that was unfortunate. Well, we'll try to keep them from out there. Okay, we've got this. Easy. No problem. All right, buddy. Time to die. Ow. Okay. Hmm. Does the game feel easy so far? Uh, yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yikes. I got my butt kicked. I mean, it's, it's not so far. I haven't been like, oh, my God, this is so hard. Uh, yeah, I know Elden Ring had a fling with a dragon. You knew the Elden Ring deer had a fling with a dragon. Oh, didn't it? Did it now? Oh, back away, back away. Cat is overqualified for this game, yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I know the game, like, gets pretty... Hmm. Ramps up in difficulty. Later? So I don't know if overqualifying... <gasps> hi -ya -ya! What the hell? Oh, I didn't notice. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think this is the one. I didn't notice. I yeah, that was not the one. Doesn't look like the game is very punishing. Like you can dodge very easily mid combo. Yeah, like it, it, the combat is very flowy. I would definitely anyone who says this is a souls like is very wrong. It's I don't think it is. <laughs> this actually makes me feel like it's a cross between like God of War and Bayonetta. Like, that's what I think of while I'm playing this when it comes to combat. Like, 
is very cool and like um yeah definitely no punishing for death so that's cool fuck me i forgot but the game does get more difficult as it goes yeah like what like after like chapter three it gets like the last couple of chapters are like apparently very difficult like it ramps up seen it what the you can do a jump a whoa that was crazy you lose nothing from death yeah what the what was that what was that That's such a cool move. Actually, come here. Hmm. I just don't want you by the wall. I, 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 uh, I don't want you by the wall. Hmm. I'm dead. I'm dead! <laughs> I don't know how I'm alive, holy. <laughs> You're so good with perfect dodges. Thanks! Let me... What? Well, shit. That's fine. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> <Oops. laughs> this is a skill issue. Thanks. I can do it. I just have to be consistent. Um, and also, I was kind of, so you can't hit, like, the things, I was thinking maybe I could hit the bells through. His, like, ow. Humbly, but you can't. What the hell? <laughs> Too skilled can't keep keep up with you, huh? Typical Shasta. True. Oh, <gasps> that was luck. Yeah, that was not. That was horrible. That was terrible. It was terrible. Don't heal. I fucked up. <laughs> I'm throwing. Oh. Hmm. Yikes. What? 
I guess I... I... What? <laughs> I thought that there were sparkles when he was gonna do that, but I guess not. Maybe I just missed them that time? Don't look, that was embarrassing. Listen, we almost beat him once, we can do it again. I just gotta, I just gotta do it. Nice. Are you dicking with me? It's fine, it's fine. It's fine. You can't see me? I, and now I'm throwing. I don't wanna talk about it. What? <laughs> okay. What? Rose never done that before. <laughs> don't don't look at that attempt. That one doesn't count, okay? Okay, that one doesn't count. <laughs> All right, this is important. <laughs> That it doesn't count. <laughs> it's important. Let, let me focus. Hmm. How come sometimes... I don't understand how to dodge that, but okay. Oh fuck, I'm I'm throwing. Yikes, first try, let's go goo. No. I'm- now I'm throwing. I'm throwing, chat. I'm throwing. It's fine. Just need to focus. I just need to focus. Cause I'm- I'm- it's actually just me. <laughs> what?! I think I'm dodging too early. so proud I thought I dodged that Get him! 
cool. That tail move is so cool. Oh no! Yikes, I dodged late, uh, early. I dodged too early. Okay, okay, okay. I got this. I've got this. I just have to do it. Look at those little cheering men. Just little cheering guys. Serious time, yeah. We're focused, hyper focus. Hmm, <laughs> I don't understand that move. What? I don't understand. spot come here I just really want him to not like be by a wall or in an awkward spot when he falls down the wave you cannot fail true i believe you fucking bitch where are you going dead there's no way 84 <laughs> percent feral dang i thought you were like one of the most you are the most feral person here tonight i think good evening i gotta i gotta beat this dragon i gotta do it right now no more messing around this is actually the first boss that's giving me a hard time but like it's mostly because of my own skill issue what? Um. Uh. Not right now. <laughs> ah, you sack of shit. Fine. He's not a sack of shit. He's really fun, actually. I'm being drama. I don't like when it starts off with this, though. So over. Yeah. Fight me, I have a brick. Oh no, watch out. It's a brick. Oh, it's a brick, a brick with a, a little bow on it. I love that. <laughs> that was really bad. Hey, you, hey, stop chewing the curtain. You stop it now. Stop it. Little shit thought I couldn't see him. I see you. Oh shit! Ooh, thanks for your biddies. That's a big ass brick. I'm gonna use it to beat this boss now. I don't get that one. That. Move. 
Okay. Let me just... Yeah. Electrified. Cinema. Him up. Beat him up. I can do this. Ah. Yikes. triggered faster this time. Thanks, guys. I did it! Oh, fancy chest! The final headbutt, yeah. <laughs> I was saving it. <laughs> Let's go! Awesome! That was awesome! And we get the lore! Oh my god, I love it. A lung, lung fur, pearl. Undertale material. Ooh, shit. That was cool. Dude, this place is cool. Boshan Sensor Curio. Wow, I got a whole bunch of stuff for that. <gasps> you almost had the no skills challenge done, but you used a baby at the end. Oh, is there a challenge? I did not know that. There's a challenge. If I was awesome. I didn't know. I just wanted to have it over with. Well, noted, I guess. So... Oh, I can have the Earth Wolf? Well, that's kind of cool. Now, the Curio. Uh, this one. Grants considerable damage reduction when Gord is depleted. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's not a real challenge, lol. Oh. I got one guide. You one guide me. <laughs> oh. Yagwai Kings. Red Loom. Now we got all the stuff for chapter one. Whoop. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. And we're going to read this lore. And then I think we're going to call it. And then next time we'll continue chapter two. Because uh, the lore is important, chat. Smoke rises high from wood of fire. Hit the back, let the beast, beats respire. As in mist, thunders conspire. Ooh. After the case of the old Luong, Luong king of Jing River was settled, the Luong princes found themselves facing an uncertain future. 
Following the journey west, rewards were given based on merit, but only the Luang princes alone's way to judgment, heightening their anxiety. They sought out Yuan Shuqing and asked him for a sign of their fortunes. The signs showed the Luang lies hid, not a time for action, not a time for action, which became a thorn in their hearts. Among them, the most concerned were the four Luangs who governed the four rivers and knew well the might of those above. They took the initiative to resign, hoping to save their lives by retreating, yet the letters they submitted to the celestial court were all returned. Oh, intriguing. I gotta run. Thanks for streaming, GG's. Thanks for being here, Chef. Have a wonderful night. Always love having you here. Time flew by one day. Wang Shucheng saw out the four longs. He relayed that the signs had shifted to the to the long lies hid. It stirs in the deep, indicating a favorable time for action. Upon hearing this, the four longs left their underwater abode and went their separate ways to plan their next moves. Red Long was quite astute. Knowing that Black Bear Guai was greedy for treasures and had the protection of Guan Yin, he bartered all his valuable possessions with Black Bear Guai in exchange for his ideal cave nestled in the mountains. Afterwards, he went into seclusion in the cave and slept for many years. One day, he awoke and wanted to soar up the sky and stretch his body again, but he found that he could hardly climb the clouds. He remembered an ancient saying, When a Long wishes to ascend the sky, it must first climb the claw wood. He wielded his thunderbolt tail to carve out a set of claw wood in the mountains to help him fly, but it was to no avail. Oh, the tree? Mmm. Red Luang was unwilling to accept defeat. He saw help from Black Bear, Black Bear Gwai. Although Black Bear Gwai was not good at flying, he couldn't resist the chance to profit for a profit that presented itself. He sold the Boshan censor he had brought from Guanyin's place to Red Luang, claiming that the censor could create cloud and smoke. He cited a passage from the ancient text to persuade Red Luang. A Luang cannot traverse without clouds, which is why the arena has smoke in it. Got it. Red Luang believed this to be true. He embedded the censer on his back and burned his will to forcibly create smoke from it. When one censer was not enough, he added another. Each time the censers emitted smoke, they greatly consumed his will, yet the help they provided was very limited. Although Red Luang could use it to fly again, the flight could never compare to that of the old days. He could only reside wearily among the claw woods. Alas, to think the world harbors such vexing realities. A sky once mastered can fade with neglect. Such is the nature of all knowledge. If not applied, it withers away to nothing in the end. How lamentable. What an interesting story. I love all these stories. They're so interesting. So they all left the skies. And the four brothers went their separate ways. And then... He couldn't fly anymore because he had been, he hadn't flown for so long. He basically forgot. So he tried to figure out how to fly again, but like nothing ever worked. That's so cool. I just really like that. I like that a lot. And that's the Handmaid's Dagger Run done. Oh shit, Orochi. Holy shit. Get you some rest. That's, was it just any percent? That's poggers. That's. You're crazy in like the best way possible. I love that for you. Congrats. Whoa, I didn't do this. Oh, this is embarrassing. Oh, a glimpse reveals the foe's might. A talent tilts to an unfair fight. Identify the Yaguais that bear spirits. Considerably increased focus gain upon consecutive success of light attack. It's. Ah, with unveiling strike, the cooldown of the spells massively reduced consider incre considerably increases critical hit damage. Give me that. Well, that's embarrassing. I did not realize I had not done that. Cool. All right, chat. Yeah, so he made this tree. Hoping it would help him fly. And it didn't. And then Black Bear Gwai gave him the sensors. And that's why there's... Oh, wow. What a great game. I have, like, I love this game. This game is just genuinely really fun and really great. After that shit, I went through against Soul of Cinder, who was ten times more BS than usual. Yes, any percent will do just fine. Wait, you don't want to go and fight Freed? In Gale? <laughs> With a tiny dagger that does no damage? How could you? I'm just kidding. My kid that's actually very impressive i give you 
um, props. Because holy shit. Oh, I whistled. And I said shit. <laughs> nah. That's, that's impressive. <laughs> what the? Let's see in chat. Go around. Um. Hmm. Um, oh, I could. Uh, this is someone I haven't rated that Kenny showed me. He said that he's a fun time. He's. I turned Bloodborne, Elden Ring into Bloodborne. Oh, he's using the Graceborn mod. His name is Porg. Porg? I will smack them with a giant club worthy of big damage as a little treat. Yeah, do it. I'm glad you're enjoying the game. Thanks. Thanks, man. Yeah, we're going to go raid Porg. He's using the Graceborn mod, which seems really interesting. So basically, it turns Elden Ring into Bloodborne. And like... They made, yeah, it looks so cool. I am genuinely very intrigued to see what this looks like. Org is chill. Yeah, let's go raid him. We will be back on Saturday for more Wukong. I'm so excited. How am I going to wait that long? Yeah. Whatever, it's fine. I'll be fine. All right, chat. Thanks, your, thank your little hearts. You're all wonderful little beings. And uh, we will be back on Saturday. Good night. GG's. Thanks, Pomegranate. Thanks for being here. Thanks, Gus. Thanks for being here. Thanks, Scooth. You all are so wonderful. Let's go say hello to Mr. Elden Ring Bloodborne. And Orochi, have a good night, champion. We will see you guys on Saturday. Have a good night.